In today's video, I thought we would try something a little bit different. As a new series idea, I think it will be good to do the hardest question I could find for different topics. Now, in today's video, we're going to look at the hardest questions I could find for fractions. So without wasting any of your time, question one, we have 96 over 180 plus 1.146 with the recurring on top. So obviously, first of all, when we're adding fractions, we want to find the common denominator. So starting off, we're going to need to convert the 1.146 into a fraction. So x equals 1.146 and so on, which means 10x is going to be 11.466 and so on. 100x is going to be 114.6 and so on. Still, those decimal places are not the same just yet. So if we go one more to a thousand, we're going to have 1146.666. As you can see, the decimal places of these two are now the same. So if we do 1000x take away 100x, that's going to be 900x is equal to 1146 take away 114. So 1146 take away 114 is going to give us the two there. 3, 0, 1. So 1032. So we can get rid of the recurring decimal and rewrite this as 96 over 180 plus 1032 over 900. Now our next step is to find a common denominator. So if we multiply the 180 by 5, we can get that to 900, which means we're also going to have to multiply the top by 5. So on the bottom, we're now going to have two 900s. The top, obviously, of the right one is going to stay as 1032. The top of the left one is going to become 480. If we add those together, we're going to get 1512 over 900. And from here, we can actually simplify. So 1512 and 900 can go down to 42 over 25. And that is our final answer. Question two. Slightly different scenario, but fairly similar. We have recurring decimals into fractions. So again, I would highly recommend converting the recurring decimal into a fraction. So 0 0.04, where the 4 is repeated, 100x is going to equal 4.44 and so on, and 10x is going to equal 0 0.4 and so on. So if we take those two away from each other, we're going to have 90x is equal to 4. So x equals 2 over 45. If we then rewrite our original equation, we're going to have 7x minus 3 over 6 equals 2 over 45. Now, by a bit of cross multiplying, we can send the 6 up there and the 45 up there. So we have 45 bracket 7x minus 3 equals 12. We can divide both sides by 3 to make our numbers a bit smaller. So 15, 7x minus 3 equals 4. If we expand out our bracket, 15 times 7 gives us 105x minus 45 equals 4. If we add the 45 across, 105x equals 49 and x equals 49 over 105. And you can simplify that as you need to. But that sums up the hardest questions I could find to do with fractions. Now, if you think this series would be a good idea and you'd like to see more, please let me know down below. But thank you very much and I hope this helped. 